This is CNN. That's it for tonight's program. I'm Larry King. Join us tomorrow night at 9 Eastern. And now for a look at today's top stories, let's go back to CNN Center in Atlanta and today's special guest anchor. Reporting live from CNN World Headquarters in Atlanta, I'm James Towns. And Jamie. Stories making headlines at this hour. If you download your music from File Exchange website, there is a good possibility you could be sued. The Recording Industry Association of America said this week that it sent out subpoenas to internet service providers as it prepares to sue hundreds of individuals who illegally distrib distribute songs over the web, sharply ex escalating the in industrial battle against online piracy, which had so far focused on shutting down peer-to-peer -peer services, the trade group in late June said it would track down the heaviest users of these services and sue them. Under the Digital, Digital Millennium Copyright Act, ISAPs are required to provide copyright holders with such info. The trade group said it would probably file several hundred lawsuits this summer. Turning to entertainment news. Thank you. Music producer Simon Cowell, the brutally blunt judge on Fox Television, American Idol, has signed a $2 million deal with Random House for a book about the hit, hit TV talent show that's according to his agent, the publishing pact was struck about a week ago. Just after Cowell reached a deal with Fox Television to return for an upcoming third edition of American Idol that debuted in January, two additional installments reportedly for $150,000 per episode. As part of this deal, Kawa also will develop new projects under his own newly formed production outfit, Simcom Limited. Last week, CBS premiered yet another series created and produced by Kawa, the reality dating show, Cupid. In other news, being thrown from a container ship and drifting for more than a decade, bombing through three oceans is enough to turn a rubber dick Ducky White, <laughs> a floating flock of bathtub toys along with turtles and frogs is believed to be washing away short swords <laughs> along the New England coast, bleached and battered from a trained Arctic journey. The toys have been adrift since 29,000 of feet from a storm-tossed container ship en route from China to Seattle more than 11 years ago. The the toys floated along the Alaskan coast, reaching the Bering Strait by 1995. By 2001, they had floated to the area in the North Atlantic where the Titanic sank. Oceanographers say the trip has taught them valuable lessons about the ocean, ocean's current. And finally, it wasn't Waterloo, but it was a disappointing defeat for G.I. Joe the military action figure that launched a revolution in the toy industry. The original G.I. Joe action figure prototype failed to get a bid at an auction on Friday. Even cutting the minimum bid from 600000 to 250000 failed to interest any of the approximately 30 people who had attended Friday's auction at the Com Con International Convention. At the comic, okay, cut that, okay. The 11 and a half inch figure locked inside a glass case was returned to owner Don Levine, who said he would entertain private offers for the next several days. And that's our report from now. For a check of the day's top news stories anytime, just log on our website at cnn.net.com, AOL, keyword CNN. Reporting from the CNN Center in Atlanta, I'm Jamie. I'm James Towns. Have a great day. This is CNN.